Okay, in this video we're going to look at simplifying fractions. Let's consider a fraction two quarters, right? Two quarters is the same as a half. If you consider something like a pizza, if you had two quarters of it, it would be the same as having a half of it. So to simplify a fraction, what you can do is you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number, and then you can simplify it. So for instance, if you halved both of these or divided both of them by two, you'd get one over two. Let's have a look at some more. Okay, so let's simplify these three fractions. So 6 over 9, or 6 ninths, you could divide both of those by 3. They're both in the 3 times tables, or both divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 6 ninths is the same as 2 thirds. So we've simplified, or cancelled down, 6 ninths. Let's cancel down or simplify 10 fifteenths. So these are both divisible by 5. You know they're both divisible by 5, because 1 ends in a 0, 1 ends in a 5. So 5 goes into 10 twice and 5 goes into 15 3 times. So 10 fifteenths is also 2 thirds. Let's have a look at another one. So we've got 18 twenty sevenths. Now you could divide both of these by 3 but the largest number you could divide them by is 9. Now you can do it by 3 so let's we'll do it by 3 and then we'll do it by 9 just to see what happens. Okay. So if you done it by 9 straight away so uh, 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So it's also two thirds. I've chosen these all on purpose. But if you just say, for instance, uh, thought, okay, they're both in the three times tables, they're both divisible by three, and you divide them by three, you would get six over nine. And then you'll notice they're also divisible by three, so you'd have to simplify it and carry on. And then six divided by three is two, and nine divided by three is three. So sometimes you may cancel it down and then realize that you can cancel it down even further. So just make sure you're simplifying it fully. Okay, let's just do so. I simplify two more fractions. So if you had 70 eighths, uh, you'll notice that 70 and 80 are both divisible by 10. So if you divide them both by 10, you would get 7 over 8. And notice that the, you're just taking off the 0, so you get 7 over 8. And if you had 5 ninths, well, if you, if you might notice that 5 and 9 don't have any common factors except for 1. So you can't simplify this, okay? You can't divide 5 and 9 by any other number to make it more simple, uh, to make it more simple. Simplified. Simple. Okay, so that's it. It's five names.